Welcome, and for now me is a Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now you can clearly see that the phone that I have right over here is unlocked, and I can unlock it either using the previously used pattern, Google account, and you can also see this little lock icon right here that just signifies that the device is locked. So anyway, to begin the bypass, we will need to, I believe, be connected to uh, Wi-Fi. So you want to basically progress through the setup just a little bit till you can sign into your network right here. And uh, I don't remember if when you connect to it, it automatically skips the next page. If it does, go back to the Wi-Fi again. And if it does not, if it just shows you that you are now connected and you can still access these, then that's fine. You want to, from here, scroll down to add network. Then in SSID, you will type in youtube.com. Oops, I didn't. There we go, youtube.com, like so. And once you have typed that in, you wanna select this, uh, this entire thing that you wrote and then type on this chain link icon next to the search. This will open up, obviously, YouTube right here. So from here, you will tap on the account icon and then we'll navigate into help and feedback and, and describe your issue. You want to type in a delete or disable. Now, just typing in a couple of words will be good enough. So delete or, and it's already showing up as a suggested delete or disable apps on Android. So that's what we're looking for for me. It's the second little thing right here. So you wanna click on it and then you wanna click on the uh, for number one right here. So that to go to application settings and this blue text and this will open up uh, apps right here and we're now gonna tap on more and then select show system which will add obviously system processes to it as well and we're gonna now disable the Android setup right here just gonna make sure that there is okay, so there's two of them so we're gonna disable both of them so Android setup one Disable, disable app, first stop, and okay. Let's go back and let's go to the second one. So set up here. So I cannot disable it, it's already disabled. So I'm gonna just select first stop and go back. And from here, we're now gonna navigate to, let me quickly check. Okay, so now we're looking for Google Play services. So let's scroll down. somewhere here Google Play services right over here once you find it you want to again tap on it and just as before select disable disable app force stop and force uh, and confirm that and then we're gonna now back out to the uh, oh, to this app info and we're gonna now scroll all the way down and we're looking for settings There we go, settings. It looks like there's several of them, uh, to be precise, one here and one here. Uh, I'm gonna check, I believe it's the first one with this icon. Yep, it's this one. So you're looking for this specific looking settings. So just pay attention to how the icon right here looks like. Uh, and here you'll find open option. If you go to the second one, as you'll see, this one does not have an open option. So make sure you open the correct one and select open. And now we are going to navigate to additional settings right over here. I'm gonna select the accessibility. Oh, there we go, accessibility, then accessibility many. And you wanna enable it and select allow. And once you have enabled that, select okay. You can see that it adds this tiny little icon right here, which is what we are looking for. So, once you have that, we can now basically back out till we get back to the setup of the device. So right here, I'm gonna select next from the Wi-Fi just to keep on going with the setup. And what will happen right now is the device will be stuck on this right here. As you can see, it's checking for updates. This may take a minute and it just kind of like glitches and starts over again. 
Uh, that is because Google Play services is disabled and the device has basically nothing to connect to. So it cannot actually uh, get access to the thing that it's searching for, which is what we're looking for. So from here, what we will do is tap on the accessibility menu. Then we're going to select Google Assistant, which will bring the settings icon right here. And now this, as you just seen, is visible only for a brief moment. And uh, I don't know how many times it will take me. Sometimes it took me like two times. Sometimes uh, it took me 20 or 30 times to actually get this pressed. But you will see what I mean in a second. Uh, what I'm getting at is when you're going to be doing this, just be patient. Uh, there is no rule to this. You will there basically you will be doing it correctly if you're doing what i am doing you will be doing it correctly but it won't always work and you just need to keep on going keep on repeating that till it actually finally ticks and allows you to enable the google play services so let me show you what i mean when you click right here and go to the google assistant select settings as you can see it did literally nothing right now so let's try that again again nothing now it just completely glitched out Let's try it again. Again, nothing. There we go. It opens this and it's actually staying open, which uh, is usually not what will happen. Uh, but as, actually, it helps me out a lot. So you will see this and you want to quickly tap on enable. Like so. Once it's enabled, it won't actually close, uh, even though for me it stayed open for some unknown reason, which, like I said, it worked out fairly fine for me. Uh, but as you've seen, you basically need to keep on pressing the little accessibility, uh, Google Assistant, settings, and then once you see this page, you want to select enable as quick as you can if it's closing for you. And you want to keep on doing that till you actually manage to enable this. Once you enable it, then you want to select back because this will stay open. And as you can see, it just passed the uh, scanning for like updates, completely ignored the fact that the device is locked right now. And what this allows you to do is simply finish up the setup. So go through the setup as quick as you can by selecting just whatever you have to. Anything that I can skip, just skip. Okay, as you can see, it finally went further. So from here, I'm gonna skip setting up some kind of screen lock. Uh, I'm gonna ignore everything that is right here and just go to the next page, next page, and finish up the setup. Now, before you go clicking off uh, the video once you see the home screen, I will warn you that the, the device is still locked, so we need to do one last thing to actually unlock it, which is navigate to the settings. So let's open up settings. From here, you're gonna scroll all the way down to additional settings. Then you're gonna scroll down again. And in here you should find, let's see, it's right here. Oh, okay. So it's right in about phone, right? Yep. So you wanna navigate to about phone instead, my bad. And in here you'll find a factory reset. This is what you're looking for. Click on it, then select erase all data, a factory reset. And you need to wait 10 seconds here and another 10 seconds on the next page. Once you press on the OK, which is on the second page, the device will begin factory resetting itself, which doesn't really give you much info right here. It just basically factory resets itself, which is what it already was. But by doing it through the settings, uh, the phone does remove basically every kind of account and securities that it had stored meaning that the previous Google account that was blocking us from finishing up the setup along with the pattern will be completely gone. And thus the device will be fully unlocked at that point. Now, I'm, that was weird, it just glitched out, but I'm not gonna actually go through the process on the video just because honestly, there is no extra info that I can provide you. Once, this, once the factory reset has been completed by tapping on OK, okay and waiting for it to finish up, which once it has, you're just back in the setup screen. From that point, you can set up your device however you like. 
so you can add your Google accounts, you can skip connecting to Wi-Fi, whatever you want. The world is your oyster and the device is fully unlocked, so you don't have to worry about it. phone blocking you at any moment in time. So that's why I'm not going to go through it. Now, anyway, this is basically how you would bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.